Now for this question, we've got this sketch here of the curve C with its parametric equation. And we've got to find out what dy by dx is in terms of t. So how are we essentially going to find dy by dx? Well, when you've got parametric equations, we find dy by dx by doing the chain rule. dy by d something times the same d something by dx. And for this example, that d something has to be dt. OK, so we need to find out what dy by dt is. And although this is dt by dx, we need to get dx by dt from here and then do the reciprocal. So let's start with dx by dt. So to differentiate x with respect to t, we use the chain rule. So we do the differential of four sine of the bracket. Four sine of anything will go to four cos of that bracket t plus pi upon 6. And then we need to multiply this by the differential of what's inside the bracket. And if you differentiate t plus pi upon 6 with respect to t, you're going to get 1 here and 0 here. So I'm just going to put 1 in as a token that I did spot that I had to differentiate this. So when tidied up, this is going to be 4 cos of t plus pi upon 6. And so that means that dt by dx will just be 1 over this value. Now we've also got to find dy by dt. So we've got y equals cos 3t. So when it comes to working out what dy by dt is going to be, same thing, chain rule as we did here. Differential of 3 cos of something is going to be minus 3 sine of that something, sine 2t in this case. And we need to multiply this by the differential of what we've got here, 2t. Differential 2t is 2. So when this is put together, we end up with minus 6 sine 2t. So for dy by dx, it means that we've got dy by dt, which is minus 6 sine 2t, minus 6 sine 2t. And this is multiplied by the reciprocal of this. In other words, 1 divided by 4 cos of t plus pi upon 6. And we should tidy this up a bit further. I notice that we could divide through by 2, for instance. 2 into 4 goes 2, 2 into 6 goes 3. So we end up with minus overall and then 3 sine 2t all over the cosine or cos of, or I should say 2 actually, that 2 there, 2 cos of t plus pi upon 6. All right, so there's dy dx in terms of t.